So iOS 16 is now available to everyone. You can update your iPhone right now. You go to the settings, general software update and get iOS 16. There's lots of new features, including editing iMessages, iCloud shared photo library. But one of the coolest things is custom lock screens on your iPhone. You can set up multiple custom lock screens. You can even have widgets right there on the lock screen. You can show the current weather right there. And I'm gonna show you how to customize all of it right now. Once you've updated to iOS 16, unlock your iPhone, but don't swipe up to go home just yet. Actually long press right there on the lock screen. And now you'll see the new lock screen creator. I've already created some lock screens, but here you'll have the add new where you can hit the plus button and start a brand new lock screen. There are multiple options for the wallpaper part of the lock screen. You can choose photos, even a photo shuffle. I'll show you that in a moment. Emoji, live weather, astronomy, and you can just do a color or color gradient. Here they have some featured ones already set up for you. So let's choose this collection right here. Now you'll see I have an editable area above the time. I can actually adjust the font of the time on the lock screen and I can even, and I can even, and I can even add widgets right here on the lock screen. If I tap the top part where it has the date, you'll see I do have some options to customize what appears there. I can choose the current weather conditions for my location and it'll show me the date weather condition in my city. You can even choose activity, calendar events, or just the date. I'll choose just the full date up top and then I'll actually tap the time here. And here you can actually change the color of the clock. You can customize it. You can even create your own color from the infinite color palette or you can choose one that's a little transparent matches with the wallpaper. Then I can also choose to change the font of the time. Now again, you can set up multiple lock screens, so don't feel like you're locked into one font or one set of widgets. You can have many lock screens, even ones that automatically appear based on focus mode, and I'll show you that in a minute. After you decide on the top widget and the font time, you can tap in the add widgets section, and here you'll see there's lots of stock widgets and third-party applications can actually have widgets here as well. Apps like Fantastical, Things, and AnyList already have widgets available. You can fit four of these square complication style widgets right here on the lock screen, or you can choose something like weather conditions and then two other smaller widgets. You can always rearrange these by tapping and holding and changing the order. Depending on the amount of widgets you have under the clock, there's also something known as a depth effect. Here you'll see how the clock is going underneath part of the wallpaper. If I hit these three dots at the bottom, I can actually turn that off and everything will be on top of the wallpaper no matter what. Now that depth effect will even work with a photo of your own. This is my son Asher and you can see the clock is now behind his head or I can click the three dots, turn off the depth effect and the wallpaper will move behind the clock. If you choose to add widgets here on your lock screen, you will lose the ability to enable that depth effect for certain photos and wallpapers. Now once you've chosen your wallpaper and widgets, hit the add button and now you'll see you can actually set a different wallpaper or create a pair for your actual home screen. It'll use the same image or if you use a weather lock screen, it'll use the weather conditions as your home screen. I can just quickly set it here, but I'm gonna choose customize home screen. Here you have additional options. I can choose a solid color to use for my home screen, which will appear under the applications. I can choose a gradient or I can choose one of my own photos that will be different than the actual lock screen photo. You can also choose this blur option and it will take whatever image that's on the lock screen and just apply a blur effect for the home screen. I really like this look and that's usually what I do for these custom lock screens. Once I hit done, now you'll see that new lock screen is created with my clock and widgets and I can just tap it and it's now become my lock screen. Let's look at some of the other options that are available for these custom lock screens. You can have current weather conditions where it'll show either rain, sun, or clouds. There's custom astronomy wallpapers. You can even have an entire lock screen full of emoji. Frankly, I find that terrifying. If you go up to the astronomy section here at the top, you can choose to have the earth visible in kind of a zoomed out view and it will focus on your location. That's me, the green dot right there. You can swipe over and have even a closer view of your current location, or you can even use the moon, close up of the moon, or have a current picture of our solar system. Just like the other lock screens, you can choose the custom fonts, the widgets, and hit add when you're ready. You can use that astronomy image as your home screen wallpaper as well, and even apply that blur effect or choose a different image for your home screen if you'd like. Another really cool lock screen you can add is known as a photo shuffle. If I choose photo shuffle, I can actually choose several manual images, maybe images that I've used as wallpapers before, but I just can't decide which I want. You can select several different images and I'll hit add. When this lock screen is enabled, I can actually just tap it to change the wallpaper that quickly, just with a tap. I'll hit add, use as wallpaper pair. And now when I have my photo shuffle lock screen enabled, I can just tap on the screen to change the wallpaper and cycle through those images I had saved. Not only does it change the lock screen, but it will also change the home screen wallpaper depending on which one I tap to. If you want to delete a custom lock screen, just swipe up and hit the trash can icon underneath. And like I mentioned before, you can connect a custom lock screen to a focus mode. If you haven't had focus mode set up, you can check out my video above where I go through some of those focus filters. 
I'm gonna go even more in depth because Focus Filters have now launched with iOS 16, where you can even customize what email accounts are active depending on what focus mode is enabled. And you can schedule focus modes to enable or disable at any time, day of the week, things like that. Now maybe I want this lock screen that doesn't have any widgets to be the lock screen that shows up during my weekend focus mode. And you can see my weekend focus mode, I only get notifications from specific people and specific apps. You can even customize which home screens appear depending on a focus mode. You'll see here in the focus mode settings, this is when the focus mode is enabled. And you can even choose the custom lock screen right here from the focus mode. But here in the lock screen editor, if I want this lock screen that doesn't have any widgets or work related content to appear when that focus mode is enabled, I'll tap focus there at the bottom, and then I can choose weekend, and that lock screen will be enabled whenever my weekend focus mode gets activated. So that's how you can customize your lock screen in iOS 16. If you have any questions about iOS 16 or about lock screens, leave a comment below the video, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to have other tutorials on iOS 16 like focus filters, focus modes, and iCloud shared photo library. You can also tweet at me at Steven Robles and join my newsletter where I go in depth even more on Apple tutorials, tips, and more. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.